What's going on everybody? It's Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment, hit the little notification bell. You know what it does already? I don't have to repeat it again, but I'm going to just for the heck of it. it helps the algorithm, guys. It pushes the video along so more and more people can see it so that I can bring back bigger and better videos each time around. Now you guys saw the intro. You know what we're looking at. We're looking at four Adidas sneakers that are 150 or less. Now, First thing I have to do is give a shout out to Adidas. They were super awesome. They worked with me on this video, provided me with the store credits, let me go to the website and pick out the sneakers to put together this video with. So thank you Adidas, I really do appreciate you guys. Now, once we get done with all these videos guys, or all this video I should say, I'm gonna have links down at the bottom so you can see where all these sneakers are located on their website. And they are affiliate links, so don't forget, I do get a kickback on those for any sales. So of course I'm gonna let you guys know ahead of time, but I do appreciate anybody who does use my link below. So thank you. Now we're gonna get into these sneakers and guess what? I said it in the intro, I think, but just so you guys know, these aren't Sambas. There's not a single Samba here. Now there may be some Samba adjacent sneakers, but I think there's some good shoes because you guys know me, I'm all about a value. I wanna to bring to you guys something that easily accessible, but not gonna break the bank, but still high quality. So three things on that checklist you guys know I'm all about, especially you know me as a sneakerhead who's conscious about what I spend, but also as a parent, I, my parents, right, my parents, my, my kids want shoes. I want to get them something nice, but I don't want to spend a ton of money. So my parents out there, this is also for you. So check this out. It's fall and everybody wants a vanilla pair of shoes. They've already burned through a couple uh, or burned through a pair for the first couple months of school. So probably about that time for a, uh, a re-up for maybe, you know, now or getting towards a Christmas holiday, which is crazy that it's only a couple months away. But let's get right into it. We're going to break these down. I'm going to go through each one of them, give you a little bit of info about each one but again i'm gonna leave the links below so you can know exactly where to find them now we're gonna go through four shoes the first one may be my favorite and i know it's been a popular one as well i think it's been on that same wavelength as the samba because they're kind of in that same dna or not kind of they are in that same dna it's an old indoor soccer sneaker that's really found itself in a fashion and also sneakerhead world again now today we're looking at the gazelle indoor now this particular one is probably my favorite color that they put out like so far that's available right now to say it's going to be this kind of real light blue diffused blue that's all suede that it's going to have leather stripes they're going to have those kind of maroon and green super nice with the cream white accent up top cream white laces and it's a super nice shoe and what really sets it off is going to be that gum sole like midsole and outsole all gum definitely 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 my favorite of all the gazelles are out there now, what's nice about this is that this is going to be the most expensive shoe we're looking at today. $150, this is going to be available. But don't feel like you're pigeonholing to just this one particular colorway because there are different colors, different makeups of the Gazelle out there that ranges from about $110 to $150. So again, I'm going to leave a link so you can see everything available. But this one's just one of my favorites. It's something that really reminiscent of you guys saw the, the, the Gucci and Adidas pack with the Gazelles. Looks like something that could have been pulled directly from that pack, but instead of spending $800, I'm spending $150 on something that looks super nice. I think it's something you can definitely wear anytime, dress it up, dress it down, and it just fits the bill, especially you got the fall colors going on, right? So the Gazelle Indoor is definitely one of my favorites of this group. All right, so let's put this one down. Let's start putting them on the floor so it's easy for me to have room here. Next up, we got a bigger box, and this one's going to be a shoe that we've seen a lot of, but I feel like this new iteration they come out with, or I don't know, I don't want to say new iteration, but it kind of is because they color block this way differently than they've done the rest of them. It gives us something new, while paying homage feels like there's something old. So we're looking at the Oswego TR. Now you guys know the Oswego is a very popular shoe in the 2010s, and I feel like it's still popular now, even though it may not get as much shine as it did before. But this particular makeup, there's three of them, or four of them. There's four different colors of this one. My favorite, it had to be the cream, white, and black. It is gonna be a suede upper cover with a white or cream leather overlay. Really nice material sneaker, but I'm gonna put a picture right here. You guys, sneakerheads with me, you remember like the 2010s when Raph Simmons Oswego was popular, like, the must have or one of the must have designer shoes. This really mimics the way they color blocked it. And that's what made me, that's what drew me to the shoe. Because I remember that RAV7 Osley Girls, like one of those shoes, like I knew I would never buy, but I always kind of liked it from afar because it was just really cool to me. Now, this one mimics this exact colorway. You got like, the cream white, all leather down at the bottom, and you got the upper that's gonna be that black. It's really cool. Now, this one, this iteration of the Osweigo is gonna be at 130. There are some cheaper Osweigo's. I wanna say they're around the 110 to 120 mark as well. 
but this with the more premium type materials, $10 more expensive at the 130 mark, but they look good. It's gonna give you that, you know, chunky shoe that people still like, but also gives you that kind of Y2K runner as well without the mesh. So I think these are great, gives you something that can, you know, give that runner aesthetic that's so popular now, but it doesn't have to be the same things you're seeing over and over again. So this one was one of those, I didn't know I wanted to pick this one up until I was going through the site and saw the pictures and man, hit me with nostalgia when it comes to, to sneaker culture. So the Oswego TR, definitely, definitely, definitely one of my favorite pickups of this group. And again, it's gonna be at the 130 mark. All right, next up, next up, you know what? I keep saying one of my favorites, I think all 40s may just be just solid shoes. I can't even pick one now. I think the Gazelle, if I had to do like a 1A, 1B, 1C, they'd probably be 1A. But this one might be the 1B because this is going to be another indoor trainer, something older that has been popular. And it's one you don't see as often, which I think you should. But I think with this makeup, you may see it more. Now, this is going to be the Handball Special. And it's going to be done up in a off-white and kind of chalk or pure white and chalk off-white color. Typically, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, the handball is typically done up in a suede makeup. This one's done in a super nice leather. Guys, this is one of the nicest leather shoes I've seen and you won't believe the price point. $110 for this sneaker. Now, again, it's probably easier to do that because there's no technology in it. It's going to be just a rubber cup sole and a leather upper. But man, I mean, again, if I had a choice between this and, again, I, I don't want to, I'm not hating on a, the Samba, I just want to show there's other options out there. Samba's a great shoe. I reviewed it. If you guys hadn't seen it, check out the link, or I put the link there, I guess, so you guys to check it out on my on my channel. But just going through, I just think there's options for everything, and this is one of those, this is, I think it's an awesome option if you don't want to look the same, but want to have that same kind of, again, DNA, that's that old soccer DNA. The Handball Special is one again i never would have thought i wanted to go on through the website looking at the pictures looking getting them in hand that leather is just fantastic immaculate leather and it goes with anything this is one of those shoes you want to throw on a pair of like maybe like tapered pants uh, maybe you've got the whole adidas tracks you're throwing on or maybe you want to bring it back to the early 2010s with a pin roll jean this is this is the shoe for that you can dress it up dress it down this shoe can get you through anything i feel like so the handball special $110 available in this color and there's also a gray color there was a, I want to say a Cordura I think it's sold out but keep an eye out because it could make an appearance in a restock so again links down below for it and we got one more now this last one is going to be something you guys have seen me review before but it's still a shoe within that realm of that 150 or less that I think is freaking awesome I love this shoe and it's going to be I think a better alternative to an Air Force One because I think the Air Force One is just a clunky shoe. Yes, come at me in the comments, whatever. I just, I don't like the Air Force One that much. I respect it for what it is, but I won't wear it that often. But if you want an alternative to that, that looks, looks a little better and definitely has better quality, the Rivalry Low 86. Guys, this is such a great shoe. And yes, I reviewed this one already, but it's still going to be available on the website ranging from like a hundred dollars to 130 and they're even on sale as well so you can get it even less than what the price points i'm telling you now but this is one of just the cleanest sneakers i've got and gives you that you know that basketball aesthetic that i should say retro basketball aesthetic but also gives you great quality and it's just a nice leather nice makeup i love of course the vintage sole you're gonna have the vintage cream laces and just it's all around just a fantastic looking shoe so whether it be a vintage runner that we saw we're looking at vintage soccer sneakers or vintage basketball adidas has the answer so let's get them all up here so we can take a look so we got the rivalry we got the handball we got the oswego so there we go we got all four of the sneakers up here guys these are all going to be available on the adidas website and i kept saying like this one oh man this one might be my favorite looking at all four of them each one of these is going to get some wear, like a lot of wear, because they all have a certain purpose for them. I want to splash a color, got the uh, gazelles. I want to bring that the old school or that runner out, got the we go. Something a little sleeker, a little nicer, I got the handball. And of course, I want to bring that basketball aesthetic out, I got the rivalry. So 
every one of these has a purpose and they all look good in their own right so check them all out if you guys want some deeper reviews i can do each of these individually as well i'm pretty sure i'm going to do a video on this one specifically because again the gazelles have been super popular as well but i can get in detail of each and every one of these sneakers more just again i like value these are the best example of getting a bang for your buck but not spending all your money. So let me know which one you guys like. Was it the, the Rivalry, the Handball, the Oswego, the, uh, the Gazelle? Which one you like the best? Which one are you guys gonna go check out on the website? And again, shout out to Adidas for helping out make this video. I really do appreciate you guys. And links down below, let me know what you think about the video. If you like more of these, I'll bring them out because my value driven friends, I wanna make sure that I can cater to you guys as much as possible. And until next time guys, see ya.